We had a sewer line that broke, we had a water line that broke, we had two, three retaining walls that collapsed that we had to have replaced, um, a ceiling collapsed. Some of the walls in the back of our building have moved literally. East End resident Lou Seiler is hoping the city of Cincinnati can step up and help residents and business owners on Riverside Drive with their uphill battle. The hill's moving all the way from the Rookwood overpass to almost Collins Avenue. The hill's moving. And some buildings here have moved 6 inches to 10 inches, 12 inches. Some buildings have literally moved. Seiler has lived on Riverside for almost 40 years. He says the sliding hill is a relatively new problem starting in the last two years. Today, city leaders got an update on the plans to stop the slide. We are looking at three different uh, stabilization methods. Seiler says the city installed the retaining wall originally, but he says it didn't extend far enough along the hill and allowed problems to persist. The city agreed today that the wall needs to extend past Hazen and Vance streets. Workers will start on this second phase in the coming weeks. I think it's very productive because what I really think is that the city understands that this is a very critical issue, not specifically only for the homeowners and the landowners, but really for city infrastructure. The infrastructure impact could include multiple water, gas and sewer lines along the hillside. If the slide continues, all those lines could be ripped apart. You know, Seiler also says that several homes in the area, including his, have damage. But right now, homeowners are concentrating on getting that problem fixed before worrying about fixing the damage. <laughs>